new tonight. The former wife of a fallen Boston firefighter is sounding an alarm after the I team found hundreds of restaurants have allowed dangerous amounts of grease buildup in their kitchens. WBZ's Christina Hager shows us what inspectors found when they checked behind the scenes at some of Boston's busiest eateries. Flames devouring restaurants, stoked by heavy kitchen grease that shouldn't have been there. And he wasn't even supposed to be there. Cheryl Payne was married to one of the two Boston firefighters killed in 2007 when they ran into the burning Taiho restaurant in West Roxbury. A hero's farewell for Paul Cahill and Warren Payne. At that time, they had two young boys, and they lost their father. From the sorrow that burned through the heart of the city came stricter laws for cleaning and inspecting the vents around restaurant cooking equipment. But thousands of records obtained by WBZ's I-Team show a dozen years later, things are messy. From one complaint, footage of grease oozing from ductwork in a Boston restaurant. From other restaurants, photos of it congealed in pipes. Records show businesses skipping cleanings and inspections for months, some more than a year, even more than three years. Duct is loaded with grease and has never been cleaned properly since installation, said one report. Another restaurant reported to be saturated with grease, creating a dangerous condition. Another in imminent danger of ignition. So how does that happen? That's a good question. Hate to hear that news. Boston's Deputy Chief and Fire Marshal Jack Dempsey says after the Taiho fire, Boston passed an ordinance requiring all restaurant vent systems be regularly cleaned and inspected by licensed registered companies. But this spring... Yeah, we had a grease fire in the uh, ductwork extended to the building. Grease ignited in the walls at this Dorchester eatery, shutting it down. Last year, South Boston's Tasty Burger went up in flames, the result of a grease fire, according to the inspector. If it's on the owners of the restaurants and the cleaning companies to make sure the cleanings and inspections are done in a timely manner, is that enough to make sure it's actually happening? They should be reporting deficiencies to us, and that's all followed up by our, our department. There might have been laws in place, after that event, but it's time for somebody to start enforcing them and making sure this is done. The problems we found were reported to the Boston Fire Inspector, who's issued hundreds of citations over the years, but not before countless violations had already gone undetected, raising questions about oversight. For the I team, Christina Hager, WBC News. Some of the pictures just gross. It's not appetizing. Taking action.